Okay, well, I we are show. live streaming now, so hello to everyone upstairs. Let's go ahead and get started with our Friday core and more. And then if we have any more questions, comments, we can talk after. But we are going to start by getting that good base in our seat, feet are flat on the ground, our head is up, shoulders down, back straight. When you're ready, let's go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. One more, deep breath in and out. Okay, and let's stretch our way down the body, starting with our neck. We are going to turn and look over one shoulder, and then turn and look over the other shoulder. Back and looking over the first shoulder, and over the second shoulder. Coming back to center, now let's bring that head all the way back, looking up at the ceiling. And then bringing your head all the way down, looking at the floor. Bringing your head all the way up, looking at the ceiling. And head all the way down, looking at the floor. Bringing your head back up once again. Let's bring our hands over to the side, hanging off the side of our chair. We're going to do a nice slow shoulder shrug, going up slowly and down slowly. Up and down here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, when you're ready, we're going right into those swimming arms, getting our shoulders moving a little bit more. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now into a backstroke, if you please. Good, for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, arms down, take a breath. Working our hands next, we're bringing those hands up in front of you, and we're just going to move each individual finger to start. Very nice, and then bending at the knuckles. Okay, and then going all the way into making a fist, opening your hands wide, making a fist, opening your hands wide. Good, good, keep going with those please for five, four, three, two, one. Holding those hands open, we are rolling our wrists next. Okay, and let's reverse that wrist roll for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and rest those arms. Take a moment. Working our way up the arm, we are going with a forearm stretch next. So we are taking our hands out in front like you were saying stop, and we're going to hold those arms as straight as is comfortable. We are taking the tips of those fingers, they're pointing up right now. We are then going to point them forward, point them down, forward, and up. We're going to those three positions, stopping for a moment at each one. And while you're doing that, I'll start with our first corny joke of the day for Friday. What did one piece of toast Say to the other piece of toast on Valentine's Day. Hmm. I know. What did one piece of toast say to the other piece of toast on Valentine's Day? You're my butter half. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're done with that exercise there. <laughs> no even groans or laughs, just silence. <laughs> that was not a good joke. 
Okay, up to our biceps next. Let's go with a classic bicep curl. Today we're putting our elbows by our side, making a fist if comfortable for you. Tension in those arms. We are curling our arms up and down. Up and down. Good. Why did the coffee bean stay home? Why did the coffee bean stay home? It was grounded. <laughs> okay, at least a reaction that time. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, shake out those arms if you need to. We're going into a tricep stretch next. So feet are on the ground. We're just going to lean a little bit forward in our seat, keeping our back straight. Slight lean forward, letting those hands hang over to the side. Keeping your arms fairly straight, we're going to raise them up behind you and down. Going up and down. Working triceps and a little bit of back with this stretch. Good. Why did the melons decide to have a wedding? Why did the melons decide to have a wedding? <laughs> Here for three, two, one. The melons had a wedding because they can't elope. Uh, <laughs> there we go, at least one person laughed. <laughs> Let's get boxing next with those arms. We're bringing those hands up in front of you, making a fist of comfortable, going alternating punches out in front. If you can, get a little power behind those punches or try to get a little speed behind those punches. Whatever feels good for you. We're here for six, five, four, three, two, one. Quick breath, take a moment. We're going into our hooks next. So then when you're ready, we are coming up with our arms a little bit bent at the elbow for hooks, making a fist so comfortable for you. We are hooking those punches to the side, try to keep that bend in the elbow as if you're punching around something that's standing in front of you. Good, for six, five, Four, three, two, one. Back and center, catch your breath. One more set of punches. <sighs> when you're ready, hands come in ready for uppercuts. So we have our arms in front of us. We're taking those fists, punching up in front of you, working a little bit of bicep and shoulder here. Good. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back down. Take a breath, take a moment. Moving on to some back, chest, and core next. Let's get our form back into our starting position of feet flat on the ground, upper body nice and tall. You're going to go into our gentle twist of the waist. Very nice. Good, now keep that twist of the waist going and add in a little push of the arm on that opposite side. Good. We are here for six, five, Four, three, two, one. Okay, coming back down, catch your breath if you need to. Let's go into our oblique uh, teapot dips next. So we're putting one hand on our hip, other hand making a fist or open palm facing the ground. Hold that core in tight, back straight. We are going straight down to the side with that hand, coming back up. Down to the side, 
and up. Here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, opposite side when you're ready, same exercise. Tipping it down and up, down, up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, back in center. Catch your breath if you need to. We're going to go into our starfish stretch next. So for our starfish stretch, we're bringing our arms up to the side. That right hand, we are reaching it first to our right left knee, left hand to our right knee, going alternating sides. And if you're ready, you're welcome to kick up that foot, reach a little further down that leg, still holding core and tight back straight. Good, for six, five, four, three, two, one. Back and center, catch your breath. Let's take a quick break from core and go into a little back and chest. So if comfortable for you, Please bring your fingers in front, interlocking them, and turning your palms. If it's uncomfortable to interlock your fingers, just do open palm, whatever feels good. We are going to turn those palms away, arch our back, push those hands, hold it for a moment, and then come back to a rest. When you're ready again, pushing those palms away, stretching back and chest, and rest. Good, keep going with these, please. Good. Go at your own pace here. Very nice. Trying for four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, back and center. Take a breath. <sighs> Let's bring your arms up into goal post position next. Wherever you have your elbows at the start, try to keep that, your elbows at that height. We are going to bring those arms towards each other in front and apart. Coming together and apart. And if your elbows don't touch, that is okay. Just the movement of the exercise is what we need. Here we're stretching out our back. Here we're stretching out our chest. Good. For six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, shake out those arms if you need to. Let's go back to doing some core work. So we are going to take a scoot forward in our seat to get in our seated crunches. Starting with those feet flat on the ground, we're holding our core in tight, back is straight, bringing our arms and an X across our chest. Hold in your abs and we're going to lean back in our chair till your back hits the back of the chair. Use your core to pull yourself up tall again. And then we go back, bringing your core back up. Good. If you're feeling pretty good about these crunches, a couple ways you can make it a little bit harder. You could try to take your feet up off the ground, really using core and balance to bring yourself up tall. Or you could have your feet on the ground Come up so your elbows are about to touch your knees, adding in a little bit more mobility there. Good, good. We're aiming for five more. 
And here's four, three, two, one. Okay, before you scoot back in your seat, stay towards the edge of that chair. Catch your breath first. We are going to do a core exercise that's called a hollow hold. And so it's where we get into a position working our core, but we're just going to hold it there. So we want to be off the back of the chair. You can either have your hands in an X across your chest or resting on your hips, but the goal of the hollow hold is to have our feet up off the ground. We're leaning back, but so our back is not touching the back of the chair. So try to keep your back off the back of the chair Feet are out, back is to the back, hold it there. We are here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, come back up tall again. Don't scoot back in your chair quite yet. So let's get those leg raises going. So we are going to start by taking those feet up off the ground, going into our swimmer's kicks. Kicking those feet up and down. Very nice. Here for six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a quick rest, feet come down. Catch your breath for a moment. And then if everybody can make sure that their mask is covering their nose and mouth. Thank you, perfect. And then we'll bring those legs back up for crisscrossing scissor kicks. Very nice. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Go ahead and scoot back in your chair. We have one more leg raise, but go ahead and get a good seat again. <sighs> Catch your breath. We are going to do our bicycle leg raise next. And if you all remember, I sprained my knee, so I can only do these on my left side. So I'm going to do it twice on my left, but you all will switch, and I'll tell you when. So, when you're ready, we're bringing one foot up off the ground, just a couple inches up is great. That other foot, we are getting ready to pedal as if we have a bike under us and we're just pedaling one side, getting that knee up, getting your quad up, and pedaling along for six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, rest, take a moment to catch your breath. Good. When you're ready, you all switch sides. I'm going on that same side, one foot is up, other leg. You are pedaling along for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, come back down. Catch your breath. We're going to warm up that lower part of our body, get those feet and ankles moving. So let's start with those feet flat on the floor, just rocking back and forth, heel to toe, heel to toe. Okay, our last corny joke of the day. I'm sorry, it might be a groaner. Who always has a date on February 14th? The calendar. The calendar. Marion, thank you. Okay, let's pause those feet. Take those feet up. We're rolling our ankles next. So yes, the answer was a calendar. They always have a date on February 14th. That's terrible. <laughs> let's reverse well, that, that those rolls. Really nice. That was a good one. Oh, I was worried it would be a groaner, so. <laughs> I think it helped that Marion knew the answer. 
Okay, pausing this ankle rolls, let's go to point and flex next, point and flex those toes. Very nice. We are here for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, feet on the ground, let's work a little bit of hips and then we'll get out of our chairs. So we are going to take that right foot, step it to your right corner of your chair, left foot to that right corner of your chair, left foot to your left corner, right foot to your left corner. We're doing those corner steps back and forth, working a little bit of hips, inner outer leg. Very nice. Good. We are here for five, four, three, two, one. Okay. How many sit to stands would you all like to do today? Nine. Nine. That's a funny number. We, well, there are nine of you here. I think nine is a good number. Okay. So we are going to get our feet flat on the ground to start. Nine sit to stands is the goal today. However many you want to do is great. Just get your hands at the ready to help however feels good to you. And we will start here with number one. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. Take a moment, catch your breath. We are going to do the rest of the class standing behind the back of our chair. Okay. When you all are ready, behind the back of our chair, we are starting with our feet about hip width distance apart. We are going to push our toes into the, the ground here and pick up our heels and down. Heels up, heels down. Very nice. For seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Okay, heels in the carpet. Now let's pick up our toes up, toes down, toes up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bringing those feet in close together, let's get ready for those leg raises. We are putting our weight into our left foot. We're going to start by raising our right leg to the right side. So when you're ready, taking your right leg up and down, up and down, here for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, when you're ready, putting our weights into our right foot now, we're raising the left to the left side. Left leg going up and down, up and down for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Okay. We are going to go back to the right side, going right leg up to the right side. We are going to do our fire hydrants. So if you all remember those, we are bending our right knee first. I'm sorry, I can't bend it all the way, but you know what we're doing. Bending your right knee and taking it up to the side like that. So right knee is bent, and then you're raising it up. One of our famous, horribly named exercises because you're raising your leg like a dog would on a fire hydrant. 
So, trying to get that leg up to the side for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, take a moment, take a breath. Let's do the same on the other side. So we're putting our weight into our right foot. We are taking our left knee, bending it, raising it up to the side, and down, up, and down. Good for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Both feet on the ground, catch your breath. Let's get those leg raises going to the back now. So we're going to put our weight in our left foot, right leg staying straight, raising your right leg to the back, and down, up, and down, and try to keep the upper body nice and tall as you're doing this to really make it work those glutes and hamstrings. If we start leaning over, then we're working a little bit different parts of our body. Okay, for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, take a breath if you need to. Putting our weight in our right foot, we are going to do that same exercise on the left leg. So left leg kicking back, upper body tall for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, take that moment. We're going to do a bonus leg raise to the back. These are scorpion leg raises. I'm going to do them both on my left leg, but we're going back and forth with you all. So we're going to start standing on one foot, whichever you want to start with. We are bending your other knee again, and with that other bent knee, you're kicking it up in the back like a scorpion tail. I've also heard these called donkey kicks, whichever you prefer, scorpion or donkey, go for your animal here. For five, four, three, two, one. Legs down, take a moment, catch your breath. And then when you're ready, we are going to switch sides for you all. Get that opposite knee bent, and we're kicking it up again when you're ready. Good. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, both feet are on the ground. Take a breath. <sighs> Going into a squat next, we are going to take a little baby step back from your chair. Get a nice wide stance with those feet. You can either have your toes pointing forward or toes pointing out. I always suggest pointing out. It's called a sumo squat, so it's a good path for our knees to follow. When you're ready, holding your chair with both hands, we're going to bend our knees and go Squatting down as if we're about to sit in a chair, coming back up, going down and up. And if you can, try to take a peek at your knees as you're going down. You want your knees to follow the path that you have set with your feet. And so if your knees are caving in at all, try your best to keep them going outwards. It'll keep from having your knees hurting later on. Good. Here for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, coming back up again. Let's bring those feet back close together. <sighs> Take a good breath in and out. Take that moment. Okay. 
We are going to do a standing dead bug exercise next, another one of our horribly named exercises. But standing behind our chair, we are going to bring one knee up and then your opposite hand up. Going slowly back down, your other knee comes up with that opposite hand and down. Since we are standing, go nice and slow with these. Right knee with left hand and left knee with right hand. We're working on core and balance here. Very nice. Keep going at your own pace. We're aiming for four. Three. Two. And one. Finish up both sides here. Okay, catch your breath. We're going to do another little balance exercise next. So, we are going to take one foot, put it in the center behind your chair. Centered behind your chair, we have one foot. That opposite foot is the only one that's moving. So my opposite foot, I'm stepping in front of my stagnant foot and behind it. Stepping in front and behind. And really shift your weight with each step. We're working on balance here. Good. If you feel comfortable, you are welcome to take off one hand or both. Again, we're just moving that one foot heel to toe, heel to toe. Very nice. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Now switching feet, that opposite foot that was just moving, we're putting that behind our chair, staying still, taking that other foot, going heel to toe, heel to toe, shifting our weight with each step. Good. For six, five, four, Three, two, one. Okay. Take a breath. When you're ready, we are going to turn our left hip towards the chair. Still staying behind our chair, we're just pointing our left hip towards it so that we're holding the chair with our left hand, left hip up against it. We are putting our weight in our right foot. We're going to take your left foot forward and we're doing a forward leg raise. Just giving a good, a nice turn to the side so we have room to move that foot. Keep going with this for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Okay, stay in that position just with our left hip forward. We're now putting our left toes on the ground. We're going to do a high knee with those left toes, getting that knee up nice and high, as high as is comfortable for you. For eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, stay there. We have our, our left foot, toes are resting on the ground. We're going to do two balance exercises in this position. So let me get our timer ready. So we did this once before where we did 30 seconds, a break in 30 seconds. We are going to start by taking that left foot up off the ground with our knee in front of our body. Balancing here, you can turn so both hands are resting on the chair. Whatever feels good for you if you want both hands holding that chair or just one hand. 
Just keep going. We have about 20 seconds left. Almost there. And then you can bring that foot back down on the ground. Still with our left foot, we're going to take a moment to take a break, catch your breath if you need to. Our last balance exercise on this side. Now instead of our knee up in front of us, we're taking our left foot up off the ground again, but it's behind us. So working our, our leg a little bit different. Join me when you're ready. Left foot up off the ground again, but now the foot's behind you. Almost there. And then you can bring that foot back down. Take a moment's rest. We are going to switch to that opposite hip being forward. So now I have my right hip towards the chair. My right hand is firmly holding on to the chair. I am bringing my right foot forward. We're going to do those same leg exercises first before we go into those balance exercises. So left, or excuse me, right heel is forward. We're doing those front leg raises. Very nice. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, putting your right toes on the ground. We are going to do that high knee with that right foot. Try to get your knee up higher than I can, please. Good. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Take your moment to take a good breath in. When you're ready, we're going into that balance exercise once again. So now we have our right foot is in front of our body. When you're ready, take that right foot up off the ground, keeping your foot in front of you. We're balancing here for 30 seconds. And again, feel free to hold on to that chair with both hands if you'd like. Or just the one hand, whatever feels good to you. Ten more seconds. Okay, and you can come back down, bring that both feet on the ground. Take a moment to get a good breath in and out. And when you're ready, we're going to bring your right foot behind your body a little bit. So for our next leg raise, taking it up for 30 seconds. Very good. Almost there. And you can bring that foot down too. Okay, we are going to end our class facing the back of our chair one more time, doing our cool down stretches. So back behind our chair, we are going to take a step back so that we can bring our head and chest down, rounding our back out for our cat pose. And then bringing your head and chest up, rounding your back in for cow pose. Good. One more time. Head and chest come down, rounding your back out for cat pose. 
And then head and chest come up, rounding your back in for cow pose. Okay, when you're ready, you can slowly release, walk back to your chair, and if you would join me in superhero pose, we're putting our hands on our hips, puffing at our chest, bringing our chin up nice and high, taking a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. One more, please. Deep breath in and out. Okay, thank you all for working out with me today. Have a great rest of your day. Happy Friday. Thank you. Thank you.